What a wonderful moment in a Saturday sunny morning in Mumbai. And we have found out our one of the biggest legends of all the football. Met us our legends, Claudio Pizarro, all the way from Germany. Hi, wel welcome to Mumbai. Thank you very much. How are you? Great, great. It's uh, great to have you here. Thank you very much. I'm really excited to be here. Yeah, yeah. What, um, what, uh, what do you mean when we landed in Mumbai, and uh, India first time? What are you feeling when you touch this uh, beautiful country? <laughs> it is my first time, really. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to be here. I know you have a big history and cultural thing here. I'm excited to be here. Sadly, I'm just going to stay two days. But as we speak before, maybe I will come some other time with more time and enjoy the, the city. But Claudia, what when you are? You, I just to little make you a little emotional because India is a country of emotions. Uh, how you felt the day 12th September 1999 when you, <laughs> the day you must you must never forget on the day. Yes, well, it was my first time when I came to Germany and I'm start to play football in Europe. Uh, I was really excited and really happy to to be part of that moment. You had more than 197 goals in Bundesliga. So what would be your best goal you rated for yourself, which is uh, cherished forever? It's very difficult to say that. It's got many important goals and nice goals, but I think one of the nicest goals it was uh, in Werder Bremen. In 2000, I think it was against um, Schalke. And it was a very nice goal. I remember that goal always. Great. And how now, now coming to the present uh, Bundesliga and also all the football a little bit, what's your call now for the 2024 Euro Germany? What was the opportunity for Germany now with us? You have been to Germany or rather than you know, your legions of Germany together. Yeah, well, in the last three months, the people was really worried about what Germany can do because they were not playing so good. But in the, in the last three months, they started to play good football, winning some important games. I think the, the, the new coach... Uh, make the players adapt to the new situation and they are playing well so they maybe could have some chances to win it. Ronaldo or Messi, who is your favourite? <laughs> Everybody asks the same question. <laughs> well, I think Messi is more natural. Yeah. Uh, he has the capacity to do things because he was born with this quality. Yeah. Ronaldo is a player who works a lot for his condition and he also has a good quality. It's very difficult to say just one. No, and definitely. And how about the, the new, new? you have been to 21 years of a long career in Germany. And uh, also a lot of, you have changed the two decades, uh, the young comes into way. And how you feel the Bundesliga as a league, how competitive to the other leagues? Well, it was always very competitive. I think what you have in the Bundesliga is that many young players come to develop his skills in football. And they learn how to play in a team, tactics, how to develop the skills that they could have to be a better player and a better person. I think that's what the Bundesliga is very strong on it. During the striking days in, in 21 years of in Bundesliga, who is the most challenging defender for you to crack? It was, it's, it's also a very difficult question because I have many hard players to play against me. But I always say that I'm lucky because after that they play with me. The only problem was I have them every day in training. But I think you have so many good players like Lucio, uh, Kovac. They were really strong and difficult players. Yeah. And what's the best goalkeeper who used to half when you have a shooting a goal? Or if any goalkeeper keep in mind, hey, they can, they can, how oh, I can beat. Well, I, I said that always. That, As a striker. Uh, yeah, Manuel Neuer is, is incredible. Okay. It's, it's incredible. One against one is very difficult to score against him. And he's also a, a, a goalkeeper who can play with the foot. He's amazing playing uh, good football and uh, in the goalie is, is very incredible. You know, uh, uh, Claudio, what, when you have, uh, you have come from Latin America, there's a lot of aspirations and it's not like Europe. You know, a lot of struggles in life and also a lot of, uh, not like in Europe, you grow you with all the challenges in life. In every, every Latin American football comes a story. Yes. What makes you um, confidence or give you a trigger uh, uh, to being a football as your career? Well, I think it, uh, we have a different uh, form to play football. Mm -hmm. We are more passionate. We are, I think, uh, it's kind of different. But the important thing is, is that you dream big. It's very important to dream big, to have big dreams, to go to Europe, to play in big tournaments, win tournaments, play in a big team. And of course, you have to work hard. It's too many competition or too much competition at the moment. So you have to work hard and be always ready for the opportunity. 
uh, when you was dreaming as a become a striker, then the, who were, who was your idol to do it, follow to the path? I, I have many. I, I would say that I have many because from many players you learn something. Yeah. I, I, I didn't have just one, but I can say the most um, complete player that I have seen is uh, Ronaldo, uh, the, the Brazilian yeah. striker. Yeah. So you have, fall, uh, you have fallen in love with him a little yeah, bit, yeah. yeah, yeah so you followed him in an uh, incredible way. Yeah. But uh, also, you also an embodiment of a sports person. You have the, you have a lot of people say the, uh, the oldest player to score a goal in Bundesliga is the oldest player. But I thought a different way. Yeah, you are 40 years younger. So how the how, <laughs> other way you can talk about it? Yeah. Now, what do you call on that? Because you have 40 years of school, uh, you're competitive to Bundesliga. Maybe somebody never born that point of time when you started playing. So what is your call on that when somebody calls you as a oldest player who scored a goal and? Well, it's something that it will keep in the history, I hope, for a long time. It is something special to, yeah. to have a record like that. And uh, I think it's not going to be that easy to beat the record because it's not that easy to play at that yeah. age at yeah, the yeah, moment, you know. Yeah. There is so many games in a year and you really have to be in a good shape and fit to, to, to do that. Well, I'm, I'm really glad yeah. to have this record and I hope I can keep it for a long it's a really a good story, but it's a good. Uh, it's also the example of uh, that the uh, age is just a number. Yeah, of course. You need you what you have at the moment is more experience. Yeah. Maybe you with with your head, yeah. you are faster than the other players. Yeah. They could be faster on the pitch, but you are in the head a bit faster, and then you can have the chance to score a goal. Uh, Claudio, I just to answer, ask you one uh, very uh, very uh, very basics for the Latin American India. A lot of similarity. The life yeah. all together. Uh, challenges are there more. Uh, we, uh, both are growing and we are doing. But uh, what is your suggestion, because your first time in India, what is your call uh, for Indian football aspirants to, what to, sh to take care of them within? And one side is sporting side. Of course, they need a good coach, good facility. But uh, more important, what you said, to believe yourself. Exactly. So what is your call? More and I'm talking about the more emotional or uh, quotient, which is important to trigger you. As I, as I said before, one of the important things is to dream big. Well, do you have things that you want to achieve in your career when they are young I think like these people here I think the most important thing is to enjoy to have fun enjoy with your friends enjoy scoring goals enjoy play football mm -hmm. that's something special play fair football that is also important and at the end you have to start to work and think a little bit more like a professional work hard be in a good shape eat well sleep well and train hard <laughs> and now I have a little of, uh, you have a, uh, the most successful club you played together, which is the most goals you played in your Bundesliga career. And now your choice of two clubs, just a rapid fire. Bayern, uh, FC Bayern or Werder Bremen? Bayern München. Yeah. Because now you're an ambassador too. No, because I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. playing for a long day and I won so many titles yeah. there. And for me, it's, it's that uh, important in my career. Yeah. And what was this very special moment during the whole 21 year of career um, in uh, Bundesliga? Well, I, I always say that my best year, the best, the best season in my career was 2012-2013 where we won the triple, yeah, the Champions League, the German Cup and the Bundesliga. That was a special moment. Yeah, how was the, you celebrate when they have triples? I know the band, uh, uh, how it did, did work to that. And uh, what was the moment I just to cherish back to you? Because it's, it's uh, something that you will never forget. It is uh, uh, the best thing that it can happen to you. You won everything that year. and. Um, you have fun on the pitch, winning all the games, outside the pitch, in training. Every, every day was special for us. We were really concentrated, really focused where we wanted to, to achieve. And we, at the end, we, we had it. That is uh, something special. And now onwards, the, how you see Claudio Pizarro. Uh, now he was, a, he was a successful footballer, successful parent, successful husband, beautiful person. And next next 40 years what are we had to see <laughs> well I'm, I'm not I'm a legend i can say yeah but but, yeah, but yeah. The, the important thing for me is that I, all my experiences what i what i had in my career uh, as a person as a player to give that to the young people to show them what is the way on how they can achieve important things that's something that i always said what you have what you had this special uh, done that you have to give it to the, the, the young people so that they can succeed as well. So it means you're talking about uh, you want to more mentorship rather than go to the field and mentorship is your more uh, focus on that. Yes, yes, of course. Now with my experience, with all what I achieved yeah. in my career, to give it to the, the young people so that they can uh, do something like that. Great. And I, my last question to you, uh, 
How about uh, it's a very now in Bundesliga. You be we a Bundesliga legend. Your half of a career has you spend all of life in Germany. Now you're talking about the new sensation of Bayern Leverkusen and the Alfonso. Yeah. What are your take about it? Well, I'm uh, talk, about, talk about the football. I'm, I'm really happy for Xavi Alonso because we played together. I know yeah. him very well, and uh, you knew from if you know him, you knew that he was going to be a coach. Yeah. And I'm really happy that he's doing so well. Yeah. That the team is playing so yeah. well. That we are going to have a new team who is going to win the Bundesliga. Uh, of course, it's not that good for Bayern Munich that I'm uh, working for them and I'm a big fan of them. But uh, football. that's football. Yeah. That's football, and I think it's important also for the Bundesliga to see some new teams coming. And I think what he has done there is going to be in the history from Leverkusen. Yeah. And thank you, Claudio. Wonderful to be here and see you more times to be in India. It's I a, hope that. It's a I pleasure. Hope that. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Thank you.